we want good food, not, oh, I'm the hardest bastard, look at me, I can eat the green chilies with all the seeds in it. <laughs> if you do enjoy getting chilli in your eye, well, please take me off your Christmas card list. First things first, we're gonna make, get that bowl out of the way, make pico de gallo. If you don't know what pico is, it's that chunky salsa sort of stuff. We're gonna make just a quick, simple one. Half an onion diced. To that, we're gonna add three ripe tomatoes. These are just sort of salad variety tomatoes. You want them diced, same sort of size as your onion. It should be relatively dainty and finely diced, not minced, but it is kind of, at the end of the day, a condiment. So, if you can't be bothered to take all the seeds and the juice out, that's up to you, but it will make it a lot more soupy if you don't, so it's probably worth it, taking it out. Some people would call this salsa. Uh, technically this is, like I said, pico, pico de gallo. Salsa is cooked down and a lot more saucy. It's more of a sauce than a condiment relish sort of thing. Right, next I'm gonna add some chilies. Now, this would normally be, uh, in Mexico, this would be jalapenos. You can add whatever chilli you're comfortable with. These are Indian finger chillies because I had them left over from a curry I made. So up to you as well if you want to leave the seeds in or not. You know better than I do what you can and can't tolerate spice wise. At the end of the day, this isn't a competition. We want good food, not oh, I'm the hardest bastard. Look at me, I can eat the green chillies with all the seeds in it. <laughs> If you are used to finger chilies, I have noticed that they're a lot more explosive than other chilies. As soon as you slice into them, the seeds start flying everywhere and stuff. So be a bit more careful that you don't get it in your eye. Because at the end of the day, you can say it as hard as you want, you can eat as spicy as food as you want. This stuff is still technically pepper spray. You get it in your eye, you are not going to enjoy it. If you do enjoy getting chilli in your eye, well, please take me off your Christmas card list. And in with the chilies as well. Um, again. Nice fine dice. These will be raw, so you might want to get them a little bit finer than everything else, just so you don't end up with a massive mouthful of chili and nothing else. Now I don't know if this is traditional in pico or not, but I like it. Coriander. Pick out any absolutely massive stems, but on the whole it doesn't matter because we're gonna mince it right down. If you don't like coriander, don't put coriander in there. Um, maybe go with some parsley if you want some sort of fresh herbage in there, or oregano. But it doesn't really matter. It's all fresh ingredients, so it's not like you need something, something properly in there. Right, last but not least, half of juice of half a lime. Now, some people would also go with garlic in here, microplane crushing a clove of garlic. I'm not going to, only because I've got a load of garlic, I've got garlic in there and some garlic in other places. Get stirred and a pinch of salt, decent sized pinch of salt. You should always season tomatoes, they never taste good properly tomatoey, unless they're salted. My opinion at least. Right, give it a taste. That's good, yours might need a bit more salt. Might need a bit more lemon, lime even. You can use lemon if you can't find limes. Bosh. 
and that's also just going to get better. Make a big pile of it and keep it in the fridge, keep it for days.